Welcome to Spirit Nerds TV, where souls unite and wisdom ignites. Get ready to delve into a spiritual adventure like no other as we unlock the secrets of the divine through sermons that captivate the curious minds and passionate heart. Join our tribe of enlightened seekers as we explore the realms of faith, knowledge, and transformation. Let the Spirit Nerds community be your compass as we explore this extraordinary quest. Get ready to expand your spiritual understanding and embrace the realities of the Holy Spirit. I was listening to Joyce Mayer. She said she's a teacher. And that's why we may not see her on the crusade ground deploying resources to go on the crusade ground because that is not part of her calling. If Brian had Bonke wanted, he would have planted a church in every city he held his crusades. And because of his memory, the churches will still be standing. It's just like the school that my children attend in Abuja. They are attending that school because of the name of Idahosa. Yes, that's the... That's the... So your name can generate some traction. So if Bonke had started churches, they will say before. Meanwhile, the, the Bonke we are talking about, there was a time he was interviewed and asked, so if you pass on, what happens to what you're doing? At that time, God had not told him that there will be a successor. So he said, the, the move will die with him. That's what he said that time. That's how desperate that man was to be right with God. We're not talking about ability. We're talking about calling. An evangelist is doing morning devotion. Printing money devotion. An evangelist. I feel like because he has the ability to do it. That's misappropriation. Then when you open the morning devotion, there's nothing devotional about it. Because you see one of the topics for morning devotion is mentoring. Then you will know that the people that produce this document do not know what a devotion is. And indeed, they, they shouldn't know because they are evangelists. But what we have seen today is misappropriation. If you don't have good eyes, you'll be confused in the jungle of the body of Christ in this time. Because a, a lot of misappropriation is going on at the moment. And the fact that some things seem to be gaining traction... A lot of us believe that God is in it. Um, that's the first malpractice against the glory of your calling that I was shown. Misappropriation. The second malpractice against the glory of your calling that God showed me is I went to Zaria. To preach the gospel and we were in the meeting and a lady that ministers like my brother theophilus she ministered like theophilus by mistake you know this theophilus is only is constant she was not like that before that day something happened and the heavens opened so i was in that place and while i was in that place i now fell into a trance no i had a vision Let me spare you the vision that I had. Then Jesus spoke to me at the end of the vision. Take my presence and power to the peoples of the world. When I came out of that encounter, I wrote it down. It is because of that calling that I can demonstrate God's presence. If I want to. What I did before I started talking. I can do that for three hours. 
people are getting delivered people are getting healed people, because jesus part of my calling is to take his presence and his power to the peoples of the world and it will interest you to know that the glory of your calling is attractive if you are a lady you will have attractions the kind of attractions that are unnatural if you are a guy you will have attractions such attractions that are unnatural and the reason why it is like that hallelujah the, the reason why it is like that is because what god puts upon you draws it's not because you're a handsome guy or a sharp guy it's just because of what you have from the lord you have to keep this this law some of us travel a lot like for one month i'm still on the mission field from country to country from nation to nation from city to city and you're away from home and so many people want to serve you they say oh my god my god you know they don't if you know what i'm talking about you run away in fact we went somewhere and the people receiving me into my lodge were ladies with tights I, I i i didn't enter i asked i asked philip go and check the, the room first <laughs> i refused to enter jesus what are we what is going on here I said, um, Philip, the, ah, you, are, you don't understand. You don't understand. Go and check inside first. If, if, because some of these kind of people can be in my bathroom in, eh? go and check first. So we were all outside. The people that were at the door, we didn't speak. We didn't. Because I want to please you don't understand i'm fighting for my life <laughs> they sin against your body according to first corinthians chapter 6 verse 18 can you display it on the board it's a flea fornication every sin that a man do it is without the body but he that committed fornication sinned against his own body. If somebody decides, someone that has a calling decides to stay in immorality consciously, intentionally, you run a risk of tampering with the glory of your calling. I know a preacher and this preacher God gave him so much authority it is it was evident that he is called into the apostolic office and he's such a radical preacher such a radical preacher that he can come under the anointing he can tell you that you are dead and you will die so the man operates like that in fact some people came i think there was a land dispute something like that and then he showed up made some utterances and the utterances began to come to pass the people who are not christians realized that these utterances were backed up with power and they had to make peace with him because they came to the knowledge of the fact that there was something on him that made his utterances potent the glory of the calling The same man, he is not dead. He ministered somewhere. The way he roars those days, he still roar. He knows how, he knows how to do it. But the roar had no backup. So I was investigating his situation with fear because I was now saying, "What is the guarantee now that when we grow older?" <laughs> we will still maintain this thing because I was afraid because the man used to roar and then the Lord brought this matter don't be afraid 
the reason why his role lacks my backing is because of this that matter the sin he is committing with his body so it tampered with the glory of his calling are you with me in some quarters when you check into the hotel you will maybe you go out to take your meal they assign a lady to be ironing your your clothes the the lady has an specky that we come and unpack your box bring everything out and that lady will be wearing short this kind of short nickel here right? now when you notice that leave that your box eh? go away <laughs> do not joke with the glory of your God. So I now took a good look at myself. What, what, what unique thing do I, do I really have? Then I realized that the only thing I have is the glory of God. If I miss it, I'm done. That's the second malpractice that you can do against the glory of God. After eight years, I believe, after eight years of teaching, then I had an encounter with God, and then He now tells me, Teach now. So I, I said, What have I been doing for eight years? He didn't answer me. Anytime I ask him the wrong question, he doesn't answer. That's how he deals with me. So if I don't get an instant answer, it means I ask the wrong question. So I'll be looking for the right question to ask. So that's wrong question. Because I asked, what have I been doing for eight years? Silence. It's okay. Um, do you mean that if I teach now, what I'll be teaching, you, you endorse it? Say yes. When you teach now, I will endorse it. I will back it up. And it will be evident that you, are, you, you did not send yourself to teach. I sent you to teach. So I wrote it down. Teach now. 